here like like that stuff just on the floor hey guys it's chris over at Kristoff's hair lounge i'm coming at you with another video today my channel is all about healthy hair having hydrated hair beauty and a little bit of fashion so today i'm going to be doing a story time where i melted my clients hair like like that stuff just on the floor so <laughs> if you're interested in watching this video stay tuned also go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell so you always know when i'm dropping a new video all my current subscribers welcome back love you guys Mwah. all right let's get into it so if you hear my three-year-old talking she is my producer today so you might hear her voice <laughs> so i'm sorry she said she's a princess okay so i after um hair school i ended up working in a salon in um in atlanta in my perimeter area and uh i had experience with like color and some color correction and stuff but i was still new to everything so i got the job there because i was like okay i'll have high foot traffic i can start building my clientele like all right perfect bet this is gonna be it what i didn't know was how to conduct a proper consultation so i had uh, a client who wanted to get some highlights and her hair was like a brown color so i was like okay um, is this your natural hair color? She said, yes. Okay. As a stylist, no, not, is this your natural color? Is this virgin hair is what I should have asked. She said, yeah, it's her natural color. I said, okay, well, when's the last time you colored your hair? She was like, oh, it's been a while ago. So for me, a while ago in hair colors, like two, three years and, and beyond to some people, it could be two weeks ago. So I'll get into what actually a long time was a long time ago was for her so i'm like okay um i'm like all right you know i can't guarantee results because you know we have to lift it that's a lot you don't really get a chance to do like test strands like that um you don't really control your own schedule it was commission salon i got to a point where i was commissioned because you're hourly until you're commissioned so i'm like all right i got this i'm just foiling away using all my little techniques that i have learned and i go to check the foil and it's like red i'm like why the heck is her hair red so i'm like um miss did you color your hair red at some point she and by of where it was i could tell like they only had like maybe two inches of growth so this is her hair like this part was coming blonde and then the whole rest of it was red and she was like, oh, yeah. I'm like, well, when did you color it red? You said it's been a while. She was like, oh, January. Mind you, this is March. So it hasn't been a while. Her while was two months. So I'm like, okay, we're not going to be able to get those blonde results that you wanted. I am going to have to color correct and tone and try and get you to be maybe like caramelly or like a brunette blonde, uh, a bronze. That's what they call it now, a bronze. Brunette, blonde, bronze. So... I'm like okay i'm i'm foiling her hair some more um and then hang on what okay then go if you want to go <laughs> all right sorry my producer decided she's not producing anymore <laughs> so um so then i'm like okay we are gonna just go ahead and rinse out because I didn't have any like Olaplex on her hair. I don't know if Redken had like really promoted the bonder at that point because that's what we used in that salon. So she just had like 30, 40 volume developer on her box dye hair. So box dye is metallic dyes. Does not like to interact very well with lightener. I've seen it smoke and then shortly I found how it melts. So I take her to the bowl, rinsing her out. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to tone it. I can see like, it's like a mushy and like I'm doing like this and it's just like, like just stretching and then like stuck to my fingers. And I was like, this ain't good, but I can, I can, I can do some of the wreck and anti snap. Like I have stuff I can do where I can kind of disguise it. So I was like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and disguise it. 
So to apply the toner, I was like, well, I want the best results. So I'm gonna, you know, apply it in sections instead of just like squirting on at the bowl. So I have her sit up. <laughs> And I take half her hair and like pull it up and some of it flops forward and she's like oh it's so flop and she did this and that ish just melted it just came right off and she's like oh, is this supposed to be happening no sis it's not supposed to be happening um, but this is what's happening. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, put some stuff on this going to like strengthen your hair and, you know, just let me dry it. It won't be this mush that it is right now. <laughs> she starts having a panic attack, like a calm one. She's just like, oh, um, oh, and I'm like, crap. So I get my manager <laughs> and I'm like, um, I have a little situation. Her hair is falling off the bowl not in clumps because not all of it was like over processed but just some parts of it she doesn't want me to dry it she had like wavy hair so she still had like her waves in her hair um she's like i just want to go out with it wet long story short my manager then has to get the store manager because i'm in like a corporate salon so there's like the salon manager the store manager get the store manager they end up saying okay i have to do the service for free and i'm like Okay, one, I done left my other jobs. Like, this is like my full-time situation here as a hairstylist. And I got to do like the, well, this commission, what is going to be like really good. Now I have to do this for free because she lied to me. When actually looking back at it, it was also my fault because I didn't ask the right questions and enough questions in my consultation. But she still also said that it was her natural color. So since you should have told me like, yes, I colored my hair red two months ago and then I covered it with a color to match my natural color because I didn't like the red. Still, I had to do the service 100% for free. She did just pay for um, the pro. She did have to, you know, we gave her take on product and she paid for that. So I got like that little commission on her product. But lesson learned, don't lie to your lawyer don't lie to your stylist don't lie to your doctor those three do not do it so the moral of the story is make sure you're conducting proper consultations so that you understand what your guests want and set realistic expectations and also as a client do not lie because lightner will always tell the truth that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Tell me some of your hair horror stories that you've had. And until next time, see you later. Bye. Yes.